the second point, Henry, you mentioned a bit about China's accession to the WTO. Um, I am a firm believer that that was the right decision for the United States at that time to be an, a supporter of WTO accession. And when I look at um, the important legal and regulatory changes that China made at that time, how it opened and reformed its economy, um, how it became, as you mentioned, kind of glo a global trade force, and it's brought benefits to the international trading environment. As you know, there's now a narrative in the West uh, that uh, accepting China and the WTO was a mistake, and that uh, those who did that, and I rank among them, uh, were stupid enough to be cheated by China. Uh, this is absolutely wrong. Uh, you yourself, Henry, uh, said, and I totally agree with that, that you just have to look at the numbers. Uh, when China joined WTO, its external trade surplus was around 10% of GNP. It's now around zero, maybe 1%. Now, how do you move from 10% of your GNP external surplus to uh, zero or 1%? <laughs> There's only one way to do that, which is uh, to uh, import more than you export. And this is what has happened. And this is the answer. China's joint WTO was a big contribution to the world economy. Thank you. Thank you, Vasca, uh, uh, for your uh, very uh, uh, stimulating and but also forward-looking uh, comments and, and recommendations. Yeah, I think that uh, first I first want to thank both uh, Randy and Pascal for, for praise China joint WTO and also think that is the right decision. It's not only for China, but also for the world. I think we, we have a consensus for that. I mean, that is really great. But I think this is really great. I mean, this is an open dialogue we have. Uh, it's really.